Dolomite, a very common rock and mineral, commonly used in construction, an ornamental stone, or a source of magnesium oxide. Commonly, they are found in other countries like Italy, but we also have a local source of Dolomite here in the Philippines, which is located at Cebu and eventually found its way on Manila Bay. With its undying issue, Dolomite had gathered different gossips and rumors. Is it safe? Is it dangerous? Or perhaps, is it even helpful to both human and environmental concerns? Join us as we discover the pale mountains on Manila's shore. The Dolomites are part of the Southern Alps and are striking because of their unique pale Dolomite rock. Geographically, they straddle the borders of three Italian provinces, South Tyrol, Trentino, and Belundo. But Dolomite mountains can also be found in many parts of the world. And the main one we will be talking about in this video is the Dolomite mountain in Cebu. The characteristics of the Dolomites consist of fossilized coral reefs formed during the Triassic period around 250 million years ago by organisms and sedimentary matter at the bottom of the ancient tropical oceans. The Alps arose as a result of the collision of the tectonic plates, forcing the rocks at the point of impact to soar skyward resulting to the emergence of the Dolomite Mountains. Granular Dolomite tends to be light to dark gray, tan or white. Dolomite crystals range from transparent to translucent, but Dolomite grains are typically translucent or nearly opaque. Unbeknown to many, dolomite is actually all around us. It is frequently used in the production of concrete, exterior cladding, roads, and garden paths. With these found uses for dolomites, the production in which mining these rocks are done. With the size of dolomite mountain in Cebu to be 571 hectares or 1,411 acres of mining, claims and an estimated balance of deposit at 220 million metric tons since the extraction began in 1981. It is currently the biggest dolomite mountain mining found in Asia. Manila-based waters are heavily polluted by oil and trash from nearby residential areas and ports. After years of being known for its polluted waters, Manila Bay suddenly got a facelift as the government decided to take a big risk by overlaying mounds of artificial white sand on a part of the bay's naturally gray shoreline. Dolomite is already known to be used for various purposes, most commonly in the production of concrete, exterior cladding, roads and garden paths. In fact, dolomite was also used for the construction of other man-made beaches. The beautification project, meanwhile, is part of the TENR's Manila Bay Rehabilitation Program launched in January 2019. In a bid to restore the base former glory after decades of pollution, in compliance with the Supreme Court 2008 ruling directing 13 agencies to clean up Manila Bay. The project somehow earned Malacanang's praise, saying that the photo people flocking to see the white sand was proof that the project was a right decision. However, using sand made from dolomite rock in such a project is highly uncommon, experts say. The large majority of sand beaches worldwide are made up of quartz and feldspar, while dolomite sand is commonly used in road construction. Changing the core characteristics of the native sand, the original sand, Environmental Impact Assessment or EIA is needed to find out how it is going to impact the ecosystem and nearby ecosystem. The said assessment was not done in Manila Bay. Environmentalists say covering up the beach doesn't address the real issues of the bay. 
Tourists and others believe the best way to clean up Manila Bay is not to add anything, but rather remove trash and pollution. Effects of Dolomites Hazards to People According to a 2012 safety data study by Texas Distributor and builder Lehigh Hanson, Inc., there are various hazards dolomite can pose to handlers. Dolomite contains varying amounts of crystalline silica that when breathed in can cause lung damage or even cancer. The substance can also cause skin and eye irritation. The Department of Health has also attested to the health effects of dolomite, in particular the adverse reactions in humans when inhaled. Health Under Secretary Maria Rosario Verhire said that dolomite can cause stomach pain and result in diarrhea when ingested. Hazards to Manila Bay Long-standing environmental issues such as deforestation and resource misuse have already affected Manila Bay. DENR believed that the crash dolomite was not going to damage the ecology of the bay. Nevertheless, the environmental group Oceana Philippines cautioned that since the sand does not exist naturally in the bay, both the natural ecosystem of Manila Bay and the synthetic sand source could be damaged by the government. Marine scientist Giovanni De Jesus said the dolomite could cause waste to species in and around the water. In the water, sediments may make it turbid or opaque. It may also be painful for the bodies of sardines, mackerel, anchovies, and other fish because of the contaminated water. Lehi Hanson had the same finding that it can increase total suspended particulate levels by allowing the sand into the water, which can be detrimental to marine life. It may also move the sand from the baywalk area to other parts of the bay where mangrove trees, beaches, and mudflats are located. De Jesus said they would become less habitable if the dolomite contaminated them, where shellfish Crabs and fish, nurseries thrive. Many studies on beach nutrition have indicated that this practice is only effective for beaches experiencing extreme coastal erosion. Before its implementation, intensive case studies, testing, and simulations are needed. Otherwise, it is not cost efficient and environmentally harmful. Dolomite has been widely used in our community, especially in industrialized places. It has been a part of infrastructures of places we have been making to create sheds and walls for activities and many more sort of things. There is only one thing that might be bothersome for the general people and to mother nature itself. The usage of dolomite sand to make an artificial pitch in Manila Bay has not only caused discussions, but also problems to nature's state. The mountains in Cebu getting flatter and pale every time it is shredded to powder for the assumed joy of people from witnessing this paleness in the land of Manila. Unfortunately enough, these bits of implied beauty scraping through the home of marine animals leaving them lifeless. One thing that may not be obvious enough in this situation for the government is that one creature sadness does not go away with another species' destruction. There will be no restoration of a place's former glory if it is dumped with rubbish, implying that this artificial sand can be somehow helpful provides the situation's irony. The people would not demand eye candies for hungry stomachs. They would want real nutrition, and considering that this happened in the time of pandemic, the people are basically served starvation. <laughs>